Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome as well. In today's video, I'm gonna be making a retro lime jello salad. So let's get started. First, you're gonna take a brick of softened cream cheese and add it to a mixing bowl. I just put this on a microwave safe plate for a little less than a minute. I'd, I wanted to soften the cream cheese. I didn't want to melt it. Uh, so that way when I add in this jello powder, it will just mix easily. So I'm just adding in about three ounces of the lime jello mix and I'm just going to mix these two together. I decided to mix this using a wooden spoon, but you can use a whisk or mixer. And we're going to set the stove top to a low to medium heat and we are going to just pour in the 7-Up. This is a 12 ounce bottle of 7-Up and we're just going to pour it all into a saucepan. Now it's time to add in the marshmallows. I added in a lot of marshmallows. I want to say maybe half the bag uh, because I really wanted to solidify the mold. So I figured why be stingy with marshmallows? <laughs> And then I let it cool down just a little bit and I mixed it in with the Jell-O cream cheese mixture and just mixed it until I was happy with the result. There were still little bits of the cream cheese that just refused to smooth out, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, now I'm just mixing it with a wooden spoon and now I'm adding in about 30 ounces of fruit cocktail. You can add whatever fruit you want. Uh, but I figured this is the classic way to go. So this is what I wanted to do. And I figured this just made it look really, really nice and pretty. And now I'm just greasing the bunt pan uh, to make it easy for the mold to slip out. And I'm going to put it in the fridge overnight. You can put it in the fridge either overnight or check it after four hours and see if it has solidified enough. Um, if you don't want to wait overnight. Uh, so I just decided to wait overnight and I think that was the best just to give it enough time. Okay so I just took it out of the fridge. It is the next day and this is what it looks like. I think it turned out really well just by looking at it so far. So I'm just filling up the sink with some warm water and then I'm just going to just place this on top of the bowl which I use as a stopper. Uh, just to loosen up the jello so that way it'll just slip right out and this is how it turned out I'm very pleased with the result uh, but a little bit um, kind of came out on the inside but that's that's okay uh, so then I just um, put some Cool Whip on the top and just garnished it with some maraschino cherries and voila there we go hopefully you guys try out this recipe let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried the salad before and if you're going to try this recipe out, this dessert is definitely eye-catching and perfect to bring to a picnic, family gathering, or just if you want to make it yourself. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys try this out. It was a really, really big hit. Uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to go have a piece now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye!